Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to continue to take a look through my Doctor Who autograph collection. So first up it's Peter Purvis who played Stephen Taylor, the first Doctor Companion. Nice picture from the Celestial Toy Maker, very striking colourful top there. Peter's always very generous with his time I find at conventions, he's great with fans. Uh, I also got him to sign this picture because he was also a presenter on Blue Peter of course. There he is with Third Doctor John Pertwee and the awesome Hoomobile, so two really nice photos. I remember he really liked that picture when I asked him to sign it as well. Next up he started my autograph one collection video in black and white but here he is in colour, the ever lovely William Russell. Also in my first video, another autograph from Fraser Hines says, Hi again, Adam, Fraser Hines, Jamie. Of course, he wasn't the only Jamie. Oh, that's his face, all right. Yes, uh, Hamish Wilson. Now, I didn't actually get to meet Hamish. Uh, my friend Adam got this autograph for me, and I uh, really like it. He signed it Jamie too as well, which I thought was very cool. Next up, also in my other video, but a lovely photo of Joe Grant, signed by Katie Manning. Probably my favourite autograph from her. just love that picture. Also from the Third Doctor era and a great story, a nice print from the Damon, signed by Darius Heyman. So that's a lovely print. And there's her autograph, quite small, is at the top there. She's lovely. She's very proud of that story as well. She really likes her time in Doctor Who. Also from the Damons, Stephen Thorne is this oh, really scary creature. Um, I, he was also in the Doctor Who episode the three doctors playing omega so i got him to sign both of those pictures two absolutely awesome autographs and i remember saying to him at the time two great monsters from two great stories so yeah really nice to have those next up it's the awesome tom baker with possibly my favorite autograph i've got from him because it's a really great picture of tom very wide-eyed tom baker doctor who four uh, i've also got this picture signed by tom not so good, it's a great picture, a very smiley one just as for Adam, Tom Baker. It's a nice picture of Tom though, that. I do like that one. From Genesis of the Daleks, it's the late Peter Miles. Had a great chat with him in the bar uh, at a convention at Wimbledon. This was signed at a Tent Plant event actually. Crazy. Uh, to Adam, Peter Miles, Nida. One of my favourite eras of Doctor Who is the Philip Hinchcliffe era, so it was lovely to meet Philip and get this signature signed by him. Had a very good chat with him that day as well. So yeah, nice to get that. Great era of Doctor Who, the Philip Hinchcliffe era. Talking of which, Pyramids of Mars, a picture of Sutek, which I uh, didn't get to meet Gabriel Wolf, who played Sutek, but my friend Adam also got me that autograph, and I'm very grateful, because uh, it's a brilliant story, Pyramids of Mars. Eldred must live. Yes, I, I got her to write that on the bottom. I, I think everybody did that day and uh, she probably got a bit fed up for doing it. But yes, the lovely Judith Paris who played Eldred in that story. So Eldred must live. Here's a lovely picture of Louise and Tom signed by Louise Jameson. Uh, Louise Jameson has a lovely signature. I like the fact she always does her heart. I would love to get Tom to sign this one day as well. I just think it's a beautiful picture of the two of them. But yeah, it's nice to have it signed by Louise. This is Peter Langtry, who played a Vok robot in the brilliant story Robots of Death. Uh, I just love the Vok robots. I think the design of them is beautiful. Another great story from the Tom era, Deep Roy as Mr. Sin in Talons of Wang Chiang. And uh, yeah, he's had a fantastic career over the years. He's been in all sorts deep, Roy. So obviously I got him to sign the one as Mr. Sin, which is a great character. Uh, Lala Ward, dressed as the, the fourth Doctor, the original cosplayer Lala Ward. Uh, got to sign that. It's a nice photo of Lala. David Goodison as Davros. Now, not a particularly great photo. It's a bit uh, grainy, isn't it? But it's nice to get a picture signed by a different incarnation of Davros, or a different actor if you like. This is Victoria Borgnine, who played Claire in the untransmitted story Sharda. She was lovely, she was really proud to be in Doctor Who. Skaroff! Lord of the Jaggeroff, the awesome Julian Glover. Um, he, <laughs> I love the fact that when I went up to the table and picked this, this particular picture, he, uh, he remembered it and quoted one of the lines from it, I forget which, but yeah, I just love that. Isn't it awesome when he pulls off the mask? Brilliant. Also from City of Death, Tom Chadbon, who played Duggan. He's a lovely chap. He was in Blake 7 as well, so I was pleased to meet him, being a big Blake 7 fan. Uh, a lovely picture of Nyssa, signed by Sarah Sutton. Uh, you may remember I had another photo signed by Sarah in my previous autograph video, but I prefer this one. It's a nice glossy photo and a lovely silver signature on there, so really liked that one. Now, poor old Graham Cole. Look at this. Graham was in... 
the um, TV show The Bill for years, but he did uh, play the part of the Melka statue, uncredited, I think, and guy he looks like he's in absolute agony getting into that suit. But here he is, <laughs> fully costumed up. So I got him to sign both pictures as well. Really nice chap, Graham Cole. Also from the late Fourth Doctor era, Adrian Gibb, who played the Watcher. I love Legopolis, it's one of the first stories I ever saw, so I'm intrigued by the character of the Watcher as well, so it's really nice to have an autograph from that one. Moving on to the Fifth Doctor era, it's Peter Davison. Yeah, great photo of him from Resurrection of the Daleks. I love that nice big signature as well. Really like that autograph, really pleased with that one. The boy genius, there he is again, look. There's that star, he does love to draw that star with his big messy old autograph. You gotta love that trick. From the, the Fifth Doctor story, Black Orchid, a story I really like, uh, Michael Cochran, uh, that's him there. Uh, he's a very friendly chap. I do like that story. It's a little odd to barter from the Davison era. And uh, this one also from Davison era, a Terraleptil leader, that is. That is, uh, what's the chap's name? Can't read it. Michael Mellier, isn't it? Michael Mellier, yeah. Played the Terraleptil leader. Uh, look at him with his burnt old face. That's a great story. I really like the visitation. Uh, slightly later in the Davison era, Mark Strickson as Turlo. There he is again, doing his little symbol. That's nice. Good to meet you. Had a good chat with him that day as well. Uh, this is a great picture, signed by the awesome Terry Malloy. He had some fantastic prints on his table uh, this day when I met him. Um, but I went with this one, just of him looking at the Davros, you know, the two faces together. I just thought it was excellent to add him. Excellent. And he's he's got such a cool autograph, hasn't he? Really like Terry's autograph. Right, the awesome Colin Baker. Yeah, which is, I think that's a picture from Vengeance on Varus, isn't it? Colin's got a great signature as well. And uh, I love that picture of him reaching out. It's, it's iconic, I think. From not such a great story, <laughs> it's a blue robot. Uh, so, uh, this is from Time Lash, the Sixth Doctor story, uh, signed by Dean Hollingsworth. God, is that... Is it painted his face blue or is that a mask? I don't know. I love this picture of Sylv. Adam Goodluck, Sylvester McCoy. It's obviously from Time in the Rani when he's still wearing the Six Doctors costume. Uh, it really suits his Doctor actually. And um, you either love or hate that costume, but personally I love it. And I think it suits Sylv really, really well. So I'm glad to have got that autograph. But here he is in his actual proper proper costume and I think again that looks like it's from Time of the Rani so another autograph signed by Sylve and as you know he did go darker and so did the jacket so there's that one which I think is signed uh, which is from Curse of Fenric I think by the looks of it also from Time of the Rani I love this autograph Bonnie Langford look at that I think she's just seen a giant bubble coming towards her uh, I just think that's really cool Bonnie's got a lovely signature also from Time of the Rani Wanda Ventham, who played Varun. She was great when I met her. Of course, she is the mother to Benedict Cumberbatch, Sherlock, no less. Um, she was just so much fun. Really, really nice person to meet. She said how these little stickers around her face drove her crazy when she had to wear them for this part. But um, she was in a couple of uh, Doctor Who stories over the years. But yes, I went with this one because I like Time and the Rani. Uh, also from Time and the Rani, Yorick, get in here. Now, he hasn't got his... Um, full mask on yet but this is um oh what's the chance now rich and gauntlet that's it yeah quite an unusual little signature so there he is getting into costume and here he is in full costume as well you gotta love Yurak. you get such a hard time and the rani leaves him behind uh the lovely tony selby who played glitz in the story that's from dragon fire uh, poor Tony, he didn't look too well the day I met him, he looked quite frail, but um, again, he's had a great career and it's lovely to get his autograph, so yeah, the lovely Tony Selby. A couple more autographs signed by Sophie Aldred, particularly love that one, I think it's from Remembrance of the Daleks, and there she is with a big old boombox ghetto blaster, so that's nice. And then this one, getting ready to blow up a Dalek with a big old gun, yeah, awesome autographs from Sophie Aldred. Uh, Yasmin Bleach playing the evil child. Look at her. Nothing but evil with a couple of Daleks there. What's going on here? Looks like Ace has already given that Dalek a bit of a, a bashing. Right, moving on to the countermeasures team. I love these autographs. So we've got Chunky Gilmore signed by Simon Williams. That's a great picture, isn't it? I'd love to get these framed actually so I could have the whole countermeasures team 
on my wall because you've also got this one signed by Pamela, uh, Pamela Salem. Pamela Salem. Sorry, I always get her name wrong. Yeah, and I'm completing the team. We've got this one. Uh, this is Alison, played by Karen Gledhall. Gledhill. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be nice. I'd love to get the three countermeasures team up on my wall. That'd be great. Uh, this was uh, a nice picture I got signed by Lisa Bauman, who plays the companion to the Seventh Doctor on some of the Big Finish audios, and uh, she's a very nice person to meet. Also from the Seventh Doctor era, Fiona Walker from the, uh, the story Silver Nemesis. Yes, she, she was lovely to meet as well, but she does look a bit grumpy in that picture, but of course that's what they call acting. Oh yeah, I, one of my favorite autographs of the amazing Paul McGann, who plays the Eighth Doctor. I just love that. Just It's just such a beautiful crisp autograph and the TARDIS and everything, just beautiful picture. But also, this one, look at that. I don't know who did that artwork or if it's even a photo or what it is, but beautiful signature signed in gold by Paul McGann. Um, he's, he's great to meet, I love Paul. Um, this actually was the first signature I got of his before, before I'd actually met him. I uh, bought that pre-signed um, from a 10th Planet convention, uh, which is obviously him in his other Doctor costume. Looks good there. Sticking with the TV movie, it's Daphne Ashbrook who played Grace. Uh, she was lovely to meet and uh, I like the TV movie. I think it comes in for a bit of stick, but I think uh, there's some lovely moments in it. And I think her and Paul worked well together. There's a picture of the two of them. Uh, I haven't got Paul to sign that yet, but it's lovely to have it signed by Daphne. It's a really nice picture. I think I prefer that one out of the two as well. I've also got a signature from Yi Ji So who played Chang Lee in the Doctor Who TV movie. I wish I'd give it um, a proper title. TV movie just sounds a bit rubbish, but anyway, I quite like it by the way. And also this one signed by Eric Roberts, who played the master who likes to dress for the occasion. Lovely signature from him. And uh, this was from his website. I just, um, I just emailed him and asked uh, for a signature because I heard a few people were getting them from his website for free. And a couple of months later it arrived and uh, very pleased with that. I think it's a great signature. So that's all the autographs I've got from the classic era of Doctor Who and in my next video I'll be taking a look at the autographs I've got from the more modern era as well as those actors I've met from Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, I also do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes out every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast. So do give that a listen. But until the next time guys, take care of yourselves. Bye bye!